Hi folks and welcome to today's vlog. It is crazy early. early. <laughs> yeah. This is this is the new way you can barely see Anna off the bottom of the frame. This is the new way respite is gonna work for us um, for the next eight months or so. We've had all our new dates and times through and having to be in Boston before ten o'clock in the morning on a Sunday is the new normal for us. So we had to leave I mean I'm moaning, we left home at like half past eight. It isn't like it was mega mega early. It just, yeah, it feels early for respite when we're, when we're fighting through rush hour traffic on a Friday and then having to get up super early on the Sunday doesn't leave us after much to do. a fantastic Saturday night. Oh yeah, after all the event, if you haven't seen what went on yesterday, you've got to go back and watch yesterday's vlog just for the, the shenanigans of having a woman try and fight me in public yesterday, <laughs> which I think is, the, but you know how stories work. As you tell them and tell them and tell them, they get more and more Watch extreme. Tomorrow. Watch yesterday. Yeah, it's pretty much at the point now where I had a fight in public. <laughs> and come back in a week's time and it'll probably be the time I got mugged or something along those lines. All right, we're gonna get Let's go get Andy. He's back. He's back. He's back, exactly. Hello. Hello. Have you had a good weekend? Yep. What did you do? Took a stump. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the stump. Because it's Sunday morning, I'm thinking... We might actually be there in time for all the bell ringing excitement that we've been to a couple of times before when we've been here on a Sunday morning. We have Andy's phone that we were setting Pokemon Go up on yesterday. We've given it to him, he's not interested in playing Pokemon, but we'll carry it around with us and see how many other parents try and get their kids into playing mobile games. We want him to play Pokemon Go with us because it'd be super fun and a reason to get him out of the house more. But yeah, we're hoping that they'll be doing all of the the bells, like loads of bells, huge amount, mad amount, and that'd be very cool. As you can see as well, he has his camera, so there will be a video up through Andy's eyes. It's six o'clock today. I think it might officially be too cold for me to come out in just a t-shirt now. Yeah. Really chilly this morning. No, Andy. Andy, there's no WH Smith today. Remember, WH Smith wouldn't let us film in there last time. You don't want to get shouted at again. Oh, he's using the cash machine, is he? Okay. So this is one of his many rewards for going to respite. Even though he enjoys going there now, when he first started going, we had to persuade him a little bit. And one of the ways we persuaded him was that he got to go to the cash machine afterwards. Now, even though he loves it and has already asked to go back, we still have to let him do this because it's part of the routine. This bit won't be on through Andy's eyes because obviously we're not going to release Anna's pin to the internet. Last time we were here at this sort of time, the bells were just ringing constantly. I'm quite surprised we've not heard them at all yet since we parked up. <laughs> that mirror is awesome. This door is not meant for full size humans. Interestingly, they had no issue with recording them there today and I walked past two different people in vicar costumes so it was clearly just the Jobsworth guy who was in there the other day who didn't like me doing it. Are you hatching an egg over here? Yeah, one. Awesome. Head off. Was the church good? Yeah. Good. We it haven't had any, we've not had any bells have we? No. Which is weird. Yeah it did say that the the tower, going up in the tower was closed today because of the wind. The shop was so, Yeah. The whole thing seemed to be shut. There was no service going on in there for a Sunday morning. The coffee shop was closed, the tower was closed. Maybe it's too windy for the bells because it is very very windy. I think that probably explains why they're not doing normal stuff in the church this morning. There's already coach trips arriving for that. There's some kind of parade going on so I think it's probably best that we get out of town before traffic starts to pick up for that. bells have started ringing and he is now running off down the street. He must get back in time for the bells. Yeah. 
Yeah. Listen! Fight! Is running too now. I think he just wants to run laps around the church. He's gone all the way up to this end and he's still going. Andy, wait! Andy! You need to wait! Last time we were here on a Sunday morning with these bells going like this, this went on for like 25 minutes. Too good? I can hear them. Can you hear them? Didn't expect to see you running off. Oh, he ran like he ran through him. Now my throat hurts now. Watch your daddy. Long time viewers will know how much Andy hates the rain. But this shows how much he loves bells because <laughs> it's been raining for about the last three or four minutes. He hasn't noticed, he hasn't even put his hood up. He's absolutely fine just listening to the bells. Was that good then, Andy? Good bells. Oh, this car coming. Good bells? Happy. Good. He's happy now. He got what he came for. Andy, that's a road. We got just about as far as last time. The bells started again. So now we're going back again. If they keep doing this, we may never leave Boston. I've only got 90 minutes on my parking. We've got like another 45 minutes to go. But I do feel like this is never gonna stop now. You want me to film the church? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You listen. <laughs> I can hear them. You can hear them. Wow. Listen. <coughs> wow. We just had a blink and you'll miss it wow. insight into oh Andy's God. views on what video in general is for. You will have hopefully it all got caught on camera properly um, but he asked me to film so I did and I filmed him and he laughed because he thought I was deliberately being silly by filming him and not the church in his head why would I film a person when there's a thing that you could be filming I found that quite interesting we managed to get away we're back in the lift <laughs> time for the drive home <laughs> Andy, where are you running to this time? I know you can hear the bells again, but we're not going back now. Just have a look there. You want to go up there and have a look? There you go, you can just about see the church. We're never going to make it out of Boston. Interestingly from up here, I've just noticed, you can also get a pretty decent view of the football ground. You can actually see a little bit of the pitch. You could, if you were really tight, probably stand here and have a vague idea of what was going on in the match. Also, I tell you what, this is the best views in Boston from up here. Actually, to be fair, best views in Boston are probably from the top of the stump. This is the second best, but you can just about see the windmill over here. That Andy's always like the look of, but I think it's only open on Wednesdays. When I said last time that this happened, it went on for 25 minutes, I was clearly being very optimistic. The bells have been ringing on and off well for about 45 minutes now. <laughs> we just need them to stop for long enough for us to get in the car, which is next floor down in this in this car park yeah because he ran <laughs> okay yeah he ran up two floors to get there please let us get in the car was that good then andy 
Yeah. Good. And where are we going now? Home. Good plan. Just want to make sure we get in. Yep. We're back home. We've been back home for hours actually. It's like tea time. What are you doing, Kevin? I've been sleeping and playing Pokemon Go. Sleeping! It's been a great afternoon. But finally, something that we was years ago, our podcast used to be sponsored by a company called Jinx, who made make like gaming stuff, t-shirts, merch, that kind of thing. Don't worry, this is not me selling you merch. But me and Sheepdog used to get sent a load of it each month and then we'd just split it and take what we wanted. And he took a thing years ago because we didn't want it and he never used it and we've been trying to get that thing here for ages because I think somebody over there would like it and I'm now going to give him the gift. That's awesome. Andy, look. He bad. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. Is it good? Yeah. Look Splendid. Andy. Open it up and have a look inside. No. Unzip it and have a look inside. Hey Dave! Dave! Dave, Dave come away. In the main bit at the back. No help. You can unzip it. What's it got inside? A bread. It's got the pattern and on oh it must be the one in the front where it's got the TNT well done. thing. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if he's actually gonna use it because it's much smaller than yeah. we thought it would be. To be fair, Sheepdog did tell me it was a small one. And I thought, ah, how small can a backpack be? Oh yeah, it's on the inside there, it's got TNT. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And we've reached that time of the day again where Andy is playing Lego City Undercover on the PlayStation. He just, I don't know if he just discovered a new area that I hadn't seen before, but he just went on a train and I've not seen him go on a train on here before. Um, but he was on a train and of course is now heading to his favourite part of the game. Where are you going Andy? To the Orion. The Orion theme park. Yeah. Are you going to go on the roller coaster again? Wherever it is, found it. Splendid. Don't know if you just noticed, he was holding a controller the way he used to when he was small. I've not seen him hold it like that for years, but because he's got issues with, like, what is it called? Fine motor control? Yes. Is that what it's called? Um, issues with, like, gripping and holding stuff and controlling thumbs and fingers as much as he would like to. He always used to sit the controller down on the arm of the chair and then grip it between his finger and thumb and move the little joysticks around. But obviously as he's got bigger, he's got into doing it the way everyone else does. Just with his thumbs and his hands. <laughs> yeah, and mouth. Uh, but he's, he was just, he had it down again. So I think he's just tired. He, uh, it's an early start, getting there to Boston as early as we did this morning. It's an early start for the day for us and for him. For him to be up and ready to leave before 10 o'clock is early. Here we go! Hey, there we go. You're on the roller coaster again. Is that good? Yeah. Here we go. Oh. oh my god. Here we go, you ready Andy? <gasps> wow! So that's Lego City Undercover. Um, I am going to be heading outside in a few minutes to do a You Now live stream, so there will be a link to the replay of that down in the description, as there always is. Wow. And then, I have to say, we have got a mega, mega busy week ahead of us. It's, it's two things. It's one of the busiest weeks of my year, because of the gaming channel. It's a massive week for gaming in the UK um, with EGX starting on Thursday, the biggest gaming convention, biggest gaming event in the UK starts on Thursday. We're heading over on Friday and we, I'm doing two panels over the course of the weekend. We're going to be doing some meetups over the weekend as well. I've got a couple of meetings lined up already. It's going to be a mega busy weekend. If you are going to be at EGX, let us know down in the comments and uh, check out on the website the programme and stuff to see when you can come and see us and keep an eye on the social media. We'll be around about all weekend as well. I'll try and set up some at least two meeting, meeting opportunities, one probably at the event and one probably in Birmingham at some point. So keep an eye on my Twitter and Instagram for all of that. But it's also the last week before Anna goes back to uni. So she's got final uni preparation up and running. She's downloading games onto the Switch now to get herself ready for EGX. So when I'm off doing panels and things, which she's terrified of, she can sit there and play games on the, on the Switch. Do you want to do it? So yeah, she's terrified of them. Uh, so she's got her weekend plan as well, but it's just going to be awesome. But it does mean the week is mega busy. I need to go and get a haircut because of this. I can't go and do panels with hair that actually comes down. You have time. 
You just don't make I don't have time this week. There you go, I'll do the rest of the vlog like this. I don't need to, because I used to have a centre parting back in the 90s, it still wants to default into that, even though I've not brushed my hair this century. Um, there you go. <laughs> that is amazing. And then do I put my hat back on? That looks <laughs> awesome. So I need to go and get this cut, but I also need to do all of my work for the gaming channel to be finished by Wednesday, really, so we can spend Thursday prepping for the event and Friday just head over there so it's going to be a mega mega busy week which should lead to some mega mega fun vlogs my hair is actually in my eyes and it's irritating me how do people do that how do people have fringes it's making me go cross-eyed but we will end today's vlog there so I can go and put my hair back in my hat before I go live on the internet if you have enjoyed this please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs and thank you very much for well watching. Done. Thank you. Now, do you know no one else does that when you're not here? I have a problem to do it. <laughs>